Ivanka stops by Fox News, let's, sli uh, let's slip a uh, Christmas surprise Trump is sending every American. That conservative girl politics, U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. On Monday morning, Ivanka Trump appeared on Fox News to talk about the impressive strides that her father's administration is making. As one of President Donald Trump's most trusted surrogates, Ivanka let slip the Christmas surprise that he is sending every American this week. You're going to love this. Uh, in a Monday morning appearance on Fox and Friends, Ivanka Trump, who has had an instrumental role in framing the new GOP tax bill, promised huge tax cre uh, cuts for middle class Americans ahead of the Christmas holiday. In business, until it's done, it's done, but we feel very, very confident so that momentum is there. We're very excited, she said. When the vote is done, we'll be done but we're going to deliver historic tax reforms and it's going to happen before Christmas. Ivanka Trump is confident that the GOP will deliver historic tax reform for the American people before Christmas, touting the positive impact on the middle class and small businesses. The House is expected to vote on the so-called Tax Cuts and Job Acts on Tuesday with a Senate vote to follow later in the week. The sweeping legislation seems uh, keeps uh, seven tax brackets, but reduces rates from five uh, for five of them. The new rates start at 10 percent and a rise to 12, 22, 24, 32, 35, and 37 percent. The corporate tax rate is reduced from 35 to 21 percent, and the bill provides tax deductions to other businesses, lowering their top executive tax rate to about 30% instead of 39.6%, source uh, Fox News Insider. Ivanka traveled across the country, appearing at public events, and made several trips to Capitol Hill to push the Republican tax bill. She also had a heavy hand in pushing through a large increase in the child tax credit. It's going to be the fulfillment of an enormous campaign promise and something that's just tremendously important for the American people. Ivanka said on Monday, so we feel it. this is something the people of this country want. Indeed, nothing could be a better Christmas present than more hard-earned money in the pockets of middle-class Americans, especially those of us who struggle just to provide a Christmas for our families along with the regular monthly bills. However, even though the bill would seem to be common sense legislation, it has been an uphill battle getting it passed. At several turns, the bill was nearly derailed with Florida Senator Marco Rubio saying he could not vote for the plan until the child tax credit was increased to the level and other conservatives in the Senate had demanded. Senator Bob Corker at the same time said that he could vote for a bill that blows a new hole in the federal deficit. Um, the two Republican senators, John McCain and Thad Corcoran, are battling health issues that have kept them out of Washington. McCain has returned to Arizona for physical therapy and rehabilitation following a hospital stay. He'll remain there until after the Christmas holiday, source the Daily Mail. Touting the bill's benefits to small business, Ivanka said on Monday that taxpayers want simplification. They want a tax code they can understand. They want lower corporate taxes and understand the benefit if they're the companies they work for can invest in their workforces, invest in new equipment, and ultimately lead to wage growth. She continued, we, have, uh, we had a lot of very productive conversations with Democrats who I believe are intellectually Intelli intellectually, oh, okay, I said that right. Intellectually, their their hearts are there, but the part is not there. Uh, party is not there, and the the leadership's not there, and that is unfortunate. Ivanka added, but uh, I'm hopeful with this really enormous uh, win and this win for the American people will come into 2018 with such tremendous momentum that we uh, galvanize support and cohesion, not only within the party. The House plans to vote on Trump's tax bill Tuesday with a Senate vote to follow on Wednesday. 
pray that nothing gets in the way and that we truly do have tax reform by Christmas. What a glorious gift that would be. But uh, McCain's not going to show up, so I don't know what the vote is going to be like. Um, so I, I don't know what to say. It sounds like a good uh, plan, but uh, let's see who's going to vote for it because McCain had said he was going to vote for it, and now uh, we know he's not going to show up, uh, most likely. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.